What up guys, Miguel here of Yigatech and the last time we reviewed a Nokia phone on this channel was last year's Nokia 7 Plus and Nokia 6.1. Now the Nokia 8.1 also known as the Nokia X7 is now officially available in the Philippines so let's go and check that out shall we? So taking a look at the box, you get a clean dark red color with the Nokia label as well as the Lazada logo since this one will exclusively be available only on Lazada. Removing it, we get the usual Nokia smartphone box and underneath that, the phone itself. You also get a special 1000 peso travel voucher and a Nokia VIP card and a smaller box. Now in this smaller box are the adapter, earphones, and USB Type-C cable. Putting the unit aside for now, you'll see the SIM ejector tool and the paperwork. With the Nokia 8.1 in my hands, I can say it feels sleek, elegant, not too heavy, and you can easily distinguish it as a Nokia smartphone with its design. Its frame is crafted from Series 6000 aluminum, and it's got a glass body with 2.5D Gorilla Glass protection, which is really nice but can also feel delicate to grasp or when placing on smooth surfaces. So the unit we have is in the iron steel color, which looks sophisticated and luxurious for a mid-range device. And there's also a blue, silver, and a steel copper variant if you're interested. At the back, you'll find the dual rear camera stacked vertically and an easy-to-reach fingerprint scanner. Meanwhile, on the right, you'll find the power button and volume rockers that are well clicky and reachable even with small hands. On the left side is the hybrid dual SIM card tray and you get expandable storage of up to 400 gigs. Up top is a 3.5mm audio jack while at the bottom are its USB Type-C charging port, speaker grills, and microphone. Heading to display. The Nokia 8.1 boasts a 6.18-inch pure display which you can find in previous Nokia smartphones like the 7.1. This technology provides a higher contrast ratio of 1500 to 1 and HDR10 support so you really get a beautiful display with crisper details, bright dynamic colors, and great contrast levels. It's also customizable in the settings menu so you can decide which pure display setup is more comfy for your eyes. However, besides that awesome display, we can't help but notice that large outdated notch for its front camera, call speaker, and sensor. Either way, if it bothers you, you have the option to remove it by making the whole notch part black in the settings, thus giving you somewhat of a virtual forehead. Powering the 8.1 is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 with an Adreno 616 GPU with 4 gigs of RAM plus 64 or 128 gigs of internal storage. Nokia claims that the 8.1 can last you up to two days with its 3,500 mAh battery. We're a little bit skeptical of this, but we do indeed think this is possible if you're not really a heavy user. As for software, the Nokia 8.1 offers a stock Android experience with Android 9 Pie. Of course, expect a simple clean OS and fast updates. Now, checking out cameras real quick, you get a Zeiss-supported 12-megapixel f1.8 primary sensor and a 13-megapixel secondary camera at the back. For selfies, there's a 20 megapixel f2 sensor. Take a look at our sample photos right now. The Nokia 8.1 is priced at just under 20,000 pesos. And like I said earlier, it will be exclusively available at Lazada. Pre-orders start from July 16 to July 18. So, what did you guys think of this quick hands-on of the Nokia 8.1? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yukatech.com for latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel, and I'll see you in the next one.